if you ever make a big stuff up, the best thing you can do is just be honest about it and own up. Hey, it's Andrew Helmich here from PhotoBizX. Last night, I was doing a presentation, a live presentation on how to dominate your local area using Facebook ads. And I promised, <laughs> I promised everyone that I would record the session so I could share it with anyone that couldn't make it on the, on the day. I got to the end. I finished, it was a great presentation, full of energy. We had lots and lots of photographers on the call. Everyone was wrapped with the content, so I couldn't be happier. I thought, yes, this went really, really well. And then in the chat area, as I was saying goodbye and closing off, someone posted, oh, don't forget to post the recording as soon as it's available. And I realized, oh crap, <laughs> I didn't hit record. <laughs> And I finished the call and I, I felt absolutely rotten. I felt, I thought, what, what an idiot. What a, how could I forget that? And it was an hour and a half, like I said, full of energy, lots of great content. And at first I thought, you know what, I've just got to go back and record this whole presentation again and just deliver it solo. So I've got something to deliver to the people who, who missed out, who wanted the recording. Instead, I just gave myself 30 minutes to, to stop and to think about another way to approach this. And instead of trying to make up some excuse or come up with a reason why the recording didn't work, I went to the photographers, to my, to my Facebook group, PhotoBizX, the members, and said, look, <laughs> I stuffed up. I forgot to hit record. And as good as they are, I mean, they, they, they could see the humor in that. They thought it was funny. Yes, I stuffed up. It, was, it were funny comments about leaving the lens cap on the lens when I go to take a photo or forgetting to put an SD card in the camera. So yeah. <laughs> The upshot was everyone was totally understanding and it all worked out fine. I'm planning to re-record the live session and I promise to record it then. And uh, yeah, and it's, I guess that the moral of the story is things aren't as bad as what they could have been. So how does all this tie into you and you running your photography business? Well, everyone makes mistakes and there are going to be days when you do make a mistake. and. At first, I know that the gut instinct is, how can I hide this from the client? You know, what can I do to disguise this, to make it look like I didn't make the mistake that I did? You know, maybe I can blame it on someone else. Maybe I can blame it on the lab. Maybe I can say there was something wrong with my camera. You know, whatever it is. But often, often the best way, well, I'm going to say most of the time, or all, yeah, I really want to say all the time, but maybe not. Most of the time, the best thing is going to be the truth. Just tell the truth. You've made a mistake, go back to the client, tell them you made a mistake, tell them what the mistake is. Well, maybe not what it is, but how it affects them. And then ask what they would like you to do about it. And then listen, just shut up and listen. And often, if you have a great rapport with that client, they're not gonna be as bummed as what you think they might be. Uh, sure, it's gonna be pretty bad if you stuffed up the whole wedding, for example. But you know, let's say it's a family shoot, often they can be reshot. Uh, often, often something can be salvaged. Often the client will see the funny side or, or find an alternative that is much better than what you were anticipating. Uh, the, the worst thing you can do is go back and, and offer you know, the, the kitchen sink and everything else in the house to go with it because you made a mistake. You know, just, just don't jump to conclusions with what you should be offering to compensate for your mistake. You know, it, could, it could just be a simple reshoot. It could be, you know, offering an extra an extra frame print. Uh, it could be offering a digital file or two. I mean, it could be pretty minimal. Often the client will say, "Look, don't worry about it. We'll work something out, and then you can work together to come up with a solution." You know, and whatever that may be. And often it's going to be if it's something small that the client will say, "Don't worry about it. It's okay. We had a great day. We had a great experience. It doesn't matter that there's those couple of photos missing, you know." And if that happens, what I like to do is gift them something extra special anyway, just to say sorry and to to show my gratitude to them for being understanding. So I guess in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, if you do make a mistake, the best thing is to come clean about it, get it off your chest, go and talk to the person that's affected by it. Ask them what they think you could do about it to make it better, and then shut up and listen. Just be quiet. Don't go offering too much or anything at that stage. Listen to what they have to say. And if their request is out of this world and just ridiculous, then yeah, you've got to negotiate and come to, to an agreement. But often, it never goes that way. 
I hope this has been helpful for you. I know it works for me in my business. Whenever I've made a mistake, I go back and talk to the person that's affected, apologize, ask what I can do to make it better. See if it works for you. I'd love to hear if it does. I'd love to hear if you've got a better idea as well. I hope that helps. It's Andrew Helmich here from PhotobizX. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.